Let's print a small thing. And if it goes well, we will print twice as big and double again until it becomes impossible to assemble. Also, printing this in PLA is not the best choice. Let's see why. Anyway, printing big is not that difficult. Printing small parts is trickier. The model is Grabby the Claw, and I believe it is the first calibration model focused on 3D printed action figures and joints. It has a printing guide and the first section is all related to bad adhesion because the parts are really small. It has a version where all parts are connected, but I see it more as a way to give it as a gift. I will print everything on the Elego Centauri Carbon, a new Core XY printer that anyone can buy. Thanks to Elego for sponsoring this video. On my last video, I fine-tuned my Centauri, but I left out a very important detail. Adhesion. Besides Z-Offset, there is a small secret behind a perfect first layer. Do you know what it is? A lot of people clean the bed exclusively with alcohol. That's not the trick. Glue stick? Hairspray? It is simpler. You need dishwashing soap, a sponge just for you, warm water, and paper towel. If you don't believe me, it's because you never tried it. Trust me, your life will change. Clean well on both sides, rinse it well, and dry without touching the surface. Even tiny parts like these will stick so much better. So, they say PLA is not recommended. In the end of the video, we will see why. But let's see if we can assemble the claw in PLA in its original size. Level 1 Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> My daughter could not assemble it. She said the parts were too small. I kind of agree. In the original size, the Centauri printed it in less than 20 minutes. Level complete. That was easy. Let's double it. Level two. The parts are much easier to grab twice the size, but it's clearly getting harder to press things together. Level complete. Still not too bad. Let's double it again. Level four. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's getting harder. Mm. Now I need a tool. Foi! Multilingual unlocked. It forced a little bit here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Force unlocked. Good. Level complete. Level 8. Now it doesn't fit one build plate anymore. I have to break the model apart and fit the parts in two build plates. Just for fun, let's use fuzzy skin. Just because. And I will print half of the parts in green and the other half in black. <laughs> so cool. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's possible. 
Oh, almost. Oh no. <laughs> it's too much to bend. Maybe with a heat gun. It was too much. Yeah, it was. Secret yeah. weapon unlocked. This one? Not so much. This before. One, two, three, go. Ooh, foi. It's a lot to bend. Maybe if I put first, rotate while it's hot. It's, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's a tight fit. Wow! Level complete. So, what is going on here? Why we cannot just use the biggest 3D printer possible and make a giant grab the claw? And why ABS is better than PLA for this type of print? It is because of interference. To snap, parts don't really fit each other. They grip to each other because they overlap. But as we scale them up, two things happen. The overlap becomes bigger as well, while more plastic makes them stiffer. If I didn't use the heat gun, they would just break. So there is a limit to scale them up, unless you redesign the joints. Now, why ABS is better for joints? PLA has a problem called creep. Over time, it adapts to the forced position and it doesn't spring back that makes the grip loose. ABS holds its shape better, so the snap stays tight. That's one of the reasons building blocks still hold it together years later. ABS used to be a nightmare to print, but the Centauri Carbon is a closed printer, capable of high temperatures. It's a great printer for many technical materials like ASA, ABS, PC and even nylon. And Elego made it so affordable. If you are considering buying one, check my affiliate links in the description. You have my channel and once more, thanks to Elego for sponsoring this video. And if you want the best print quality with your Centauri Carbon, check my previous video here. I am Everson and this is Geek Detour.